Well, it's polluting our oceans. I, you know, worked with Sea Shepherd for a long time, and I actually came across this information because I was concerned about the depleting salmon for the orcas, and it, I learned about the fish farms and how devastating they are too. Because I think even my mother was saying, "Well, if I'm buying farmed salmon, aren't I helping the wild populations?" And I think that's a, a misconception. So I wanted to get involved in just bringing awareness to that choice that we can make to help. Over the decades, I've watched as the declines of the once mighty runs of Fraser River salmon have declined and declined. And I've watched what's happened to these First Nations communities as these beautiful runs of salmon have become increasingly small. We're lucky to have it one year out of every four in which there are Fraser River salmon, principally sockeye, to catch by commercial fishing interests. Some of my friends in the commercial sector are here. I talked to them earlier today. I used to fight a lot with them. I'm not fighting with them now. I'm their ally, and I like to think they're my ally. Piscine Rio virus is in the majority of farmed salmon. It's spreading in plumes out of these farms. It is associated with heart disease in wild salmon and farmed salmon. And salmon farms do not belong in the ocean. This is a dirty industry. I have science, law, public opinion on my side. The salmon farming industry has our government. We will be studying viruses on this ship and we will be providing this boat to the nations of this coast to say what they actually feel, to hear straight from them how they feel about having their territories used to grow Atlantic salmon.